Yeah, she's a food stylist. Did I get your name right? That is okay. correct. Okay, and you that may know, Rebecca, if you're a fan of um, Amy's show, Living with Amy, because she's been on quite a few times, and she's home for the holidays. Home for the holidays. In the tease, we said that you were a food stylist who had worked for the Food Network, mm -hmm. Betty Crocker. Tell us a little bit about your job. Sure. Well, I do a lot of things. I'm freelance, so I work as a food stylist all over the place for the Cooking Channel, which is Scripps Network's new food channel, mm -hmm. um, the Food Network, Betty Crocker, Kraft, to all different types of things. And then I also do recipe writing and development for a place called The Kitchen at Apartment Therapy, which is a big online cooking community, which is so much fun. And being a food stylist means what? It basically, I make the food look pretty. Like I, <laughs> like, I set up everything. Like, if you see the host in front of your show, mm -hmm. like on the Food Network or whatnot, and they're like, they have all these pretty mise en place in front of them, that's my job. And then when they pull something out of the oven that they've just put in there, it's my job to make it look beautiful and done and perfect. So it's like chicken has to be browned completely, like with a little torch to make sure it looks exactly right. It's not going to be... You know, it's just going to be a little better than what you're going to make at home. Oh, that's so fun. Mm -hmm. What's your local connection? Um, I was born and raised in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I went to college in Oshkosh at the university there and then um, moved out to New York after after university. Well, it's so, so nice to meet you. Yes. And she has some really great ideas I for do. drink mixers. <laughs> and we have two of them. What are yes. we going to do first? So we're going to do a roasted cranberry clove drink mixer, okay. which is so festive and like kind of... You know, cranberries are so bright and vibrant, I wanted to give them kind of an earthiness, so the cloves give that. Okay. So basically, we just take your cranberries, throw them in a saucepan, dust them with some cloves, and I kind of take my hands and rub okay. them around so it's nice and... That was just some clean. ground cloves you can just get in ground the spice cloves. section? Yeah, okay. and you could use any spice, cardamom, cinnamon, whatever your, oh, whatever that floats your boat. That smells so I know, good. right? Yeah. Um, and then, so I'm going to just put this sugar in this water to dissolve. And okay. it's literally just a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar and water. Okay, just like, like a simple syrup. Just like a simple syrup. This is actually a very, very simple, simple syrup. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pop these in a 425 okay. oven. Which she's already done. Which I've already oh, done. Oh, look at how they explode. And they kind of like pop open. They're mm -hmm. adorable. And they release I say their fragrance. Explode, you say pop open. Well, it's the it's the lingo. You have to <laughs> yes. make it sound so you, much you better. You make it sound prettier. Exactly. So, okay. Basically, we're just going to let that cool a little bit and let this dissolve. And once the sugar is dissolved in the water, we just throw these in for an hour. Okay. And it imparts this beautiful, like, ruby red flavor or color. And the flavors are just are gorgeous. Does it need to be, do you have to put it through a sieve or anything? No. It just, okay. I mean, like, you strain it out. Like, I'm going to, um, you know, funnel it into these beautiful little containers. Okay. But, um, you know, it, you don't need to strain out anything other than the cranberries. Okay. Yeah. Great. Oh, yeah. is that neat? And then you would mix yeah. that with what? Like champagne, sparkling wine, Prosecco, even um, seltzer water if you wanted to go a non-alcoholic route. Okay. It's just, it's a great festive mix that you don't really find in, you're not going to no, find this kind this of simple would, syrup in this stores. This would wow your guests. Yes, exactly. We have, and we have another one to get we to, too. We do. Using so, those clementines that exactly. are so popular right now. So we're going to use brown sugar this okay. time and just throw it in there. Whoop. Careful. Always have lots of towels okay. on hand. Mm -hmm. um, and so brown sugar is unique. Brown sugar is unique. I mean... For a drink, for this drink recipe, I think. So yeah, for simple syrups, there's a lot of bartenders, especially where I live in New York, that use like demerara sugar, which is a rough brown sugar, okay. to make their simple syrups. Okay. And it's just like gives it a great mouthfeel. It makes it really silky and like smooth and really robust in your mouth instead okay. of just a regular white sugar that's not going to really give you any of that. So it looks like our first simple syrup is great. So we can okay. just pop, pop those in there in. if you want to. Do you yeah. need that? No, I might need this, though. <laughs> <laughs> kind of warm. There we go. Okay. We'll do that. And then for the brown sugar, we're going to add some clementine zest to that. And clementine is a great little fruit. I love it. I've, I've already peeled these off, so we're just going to okay. pop those in there so they start to infuse. Um, but basically, all you do is you run your knife down your clementine. All right. Like this. Ooh. Now, do you prefer to do this instead of um, using like a grater to get that Definitely, zest? Definitely, because I want to take the zest out of this. Wanna I don't want, want to use it. Of it. Exactly. Okay. And then this pith, this white stuff right yeah. there, that's bitter. bitter. So we're just going to take that okay. off with the back of our knife and just kind of hold it. 
press it down and push it all the way and through. And then about how long would you be mixing that? That, I, both of these kind of just steep for about an hour, I would okay. say, to give them a nice flavor. But you could do it overnight. And then you would add that to a whiskey or a bourbon. Yeah, to do it, like, like a, a really dark and stormy kind of drink oh, with a little bit of clementine. Great. Yes. Rebecca, thank you so of much. Course. We'll share these recipes on our website, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin, and she'll be back next hour to make some cookies. I will. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.